Jurong used to be swamps. We filled up the swamps, built factories, transformed Jurong into an industrial town. We created jobs for Singaporeans, but we also built Jurong Lake and the Chinese and the Japanese gardens. And we've been upgrading Jurong over the years, recently, as Jurong Lake District in 2008. Jurong Lake District comes in two pieces. One piece is a Jurong Gateway here, and one piece is the lake side. This one is commercial, business. This one is more residential and also greenery. The gateway has already been transformed. I sent a drone up to take this picture, a UAV, and just to orientate you, you can see, we are looking westwards. You can see the MRT line going. This one, you can just see, this is the lakeside MRT station. This one is the Jurong East MRT station. This is a big box. This one is the IMM for shopping. This is Westgate. This is a Demonai Institute, open at May, in May Day. This one, not quite completed, is Ng Ting Fong Hospital, Ng Ting Fong General Hospital. It was supposed to be completed by December, but unfortunately there are construction delays, so the opening is pushed back by about six months. But we are getting there. So you can see that Jurong Gateway is already transformed, but there should be more to Jurong than shopping malls and industries. Jurong also includes the lakeside, the Chinese garden here, and the Japanese garden here. So I visited them in June on leave. And very beautiful, Japanese garden, serene, peaceful. There's a stone, I think it's a marble bridge, traditional design, links you across to the Chinese side, and this is the Chinese side with pretty pavilions and pagodas. So it's very nice, and yet I felt the last time I was here was nearly 30 years ago, and it looks about the same. And it's also underutilized, quite unlike Pishan Ang Mokyo Park, where there are thousands of people every day. This one, very few visitors. And I felt we could do so much more with the gardens. So I asked the planners to consider to bring it all together, to do a more ambitious transformation of the whole area. And the planners came back to me and said, yes, we've been thinking along the same lines. Here are some interesting ideas. Ideas for the garden, ideas for the living environment, ideas for the surrounding towns. You know where the Japanese garden is. You know where the Chinese garden is. You, the, on the west side of the lake, there's Jurong Lake Gardens, or Jurong Lake Park. And there are really three different pieces. But if we bring them all together, we can redesign the whole area. You can change the islands. You might merge them. You can change the shape of the lake, which is right now a little bit awkward. You can create one beautiful set of gardens in our heartlands. And that can be Jurong Lake Gardens and can be something really special. For example, it can be the focal point for a community in bloom movement. There are many community in bloom groups all over Singapore. Passionate, enthusiastic, they take great pride in their gardens. They beautify their neighborhoods, they spruce up their environments. They have spice gardens downstairs, fruit gardens, flower, pl flower beds. And they submit outstanding entries to the Singapore Garden Festival. And this one, for example, is a little Smurf garden. You can just see the Smurfs. And there's a little Smurfette down there learning to walk. This is from previous years. But this year, I have a picture. This is a winning entry from this year's Garden Festival, which is currently on. This entry is called scent alizing. Scent meaning the perfume, the aroma. And it's been put up by community groups and schools from Southwest District. And it won the End Parks Community in Bloom Gardeners Cup Education Award this year. So you can see the kids are thoroughly enjoying the scent garden. I'm going to visit it this week after completing this NDR. And I think you should go and visit the place too. But this is the sort of thing which you can do in Jurong Lake Gardens. Bring community gardeners from all over Singapore to create and look after show gardens in the Jurong Lake Gardens. Make it a people's garden. Bigger than Pishan Ang Mokyo Park, even perhaps better than Pishan Ang Mokyo Park. 
Next year, N Parks will invite design ideas, so please give us your ideas. These are your gardens, we want to hear from you. But Jurong Lake Gardens is not just a thing in itself. It's like Paya Lebar Airport, which I told you about last year. You move Paya Lebar Airport, you not only free up Paya Lebar, you also enable development all around the eastern part of the island. So similarly with Jurong Lake Gardens, if we do a good job of that and integrate it with the neighbourhood, we can transform a big part of the western part of Singapore. What are the things you can do? Well, you can connect Jurong... This one, by the way, is Jurong East MRT Station, which I showed you just now, just so you can orientate yourself. But what can you do? You can connect up the gardens to our park connector network, island-wide, so that you can walk there from many places. You can connect it up to our ABC Waters program, up and down the Jurong River. You can have housing around the gardens. There's already housing around it. You can see the dark orange pieces. We're going to build more further north, like here. And further south, there are these purple bits, which are currently industrial plots, further down near Pandan Reservoir here. And the leases on the industrial plots will run out over the next 20, 30 years. And as they run out, we can build housing there and integrate it into the Lake District. I know those of you who are familiar with the area are thinking, all this sounds good, but right now there are too many traffic jams. But we are working on it. We are increasing, improving the capacity of our north, south and east-west lines. And we should see improvements in the north, south and east-west lines over the next two years. Later on, we are building the Jurong Region Line and the Cross Island Line. So you can see this is a Jurong Region Line which covers Jurong and the Cross Island Line which will come all the way across here. It'll take some time, but it will come. For the longer term, there are even bolder possibilities. The AYE is now along here. It's really too close to the gardens. It constricts the gardens. If we can move the AYE down south, Ah, then you free up space next to the lake, you can build more lakeside housing. It'll be like living in Pishan or Ang Mokyo along Avenue 1, or living in Pongol along the waterway. One day, the high-speed rail may come to Jurong. I've agreed with Prime Minister Najib to build a high-speed rail between Singapore and KL. And I've told PM Najib, that in Singapore, why don't we site the terminus in the Jurong Lake District? So we are discussing it with Malaysians. We haven't settled this yet. But if we get a high-speed rail terminus in the Jurong Lake District, then that will make Jurong truly an exciting gateway to Singapore. So we can transform the whole area, and the Lake Gardens will be the crown of Jurong Lake District, and we will place one jewel in the crown, and that is a new science centre. We've got the old science centre somewhere down here on the east of the lake, and it's entertained and educated generations of Singaporeans almost 40 years, including many adults who are kids at heart. It's still popular, but just like the gardens, it's great, but I think we need to do better. So we will build a new science centre, and we found the right spot down here, beautiful place on the North Shore, near the Chinese Garden MRT station. And we flew the drone over to show you the site. This is the Chinese Garden MRT station, this is the Chinese Garden, and this piece of land, this plot, is the site. So we've got the land, we've got a blank canvas to create something unique and we can do a completely new concept for the Science Centre to take full advantage of the site and the context. We can extend out the centre into the gardens, integrate with the living environment, build something which is fun, educational and spectacular, and celebrate the ethos of our society. Reflect our curiosity about the world, our spirit of scientific inquiry, our quest, restlessness, to innovate and to improve. And I think we will inspire and educate our young people in fun and exciting ways. 
and it will be the jewel in Jurong. And by 2020 or thereabouts, we'll have it done.